we're actually uh, driving around North Center here. We're at uh, Levitt coming up on Lincoln, which is a great spot. Uh, at Levitt here, you have uh, some really cool bars and uh, restaurants that start going uh, to the north. It's just a uh, half block from where we were at 4152 Lincoln. As you can see, it's very residential, tree line, very pretty back here, right off the main drag. And we're coming up on the intersection of Lincoln here. Right, this is Lincoln and Montrose, where there's actually three really cool places. Uh, one is the Julius Mino Coffee, which the other one's in Addison Southport, so a lot of people are familiar with uh, the cafe. It's an Austrian cafe, really cool. Cool place, uh, cool help. I spent several hours in there a couple, uh, couple months ago. Uh, this one was done about two years ago, three years ago now. The other one's been there probably uh, a good uh, seven years or so. They also have uh, their own bakery though, and they distribute their coffee. So you can see Julius Mino products in other uh, restaurants and stores and cafes now. Um, over here is, uh, that you can't see a sign, is the new Tiny Lounge. And this is the one that was moved from Addison, uh, the Addison Brown Line stop. It used to be right under it. And uh, due to eminent domain and the, the Addison, or the Brown Line expansion, they had to move the business. They opened up an ultra-modern, uh, really cool kind of European uh, flavored place, uh, really great bar. And then right next to it, you have your more traditional tavern. Uh, Bowman's Bar and Grill is really popular. They have specials like every night of the week. And I actually was watching a lot of the World Cup soccer there. So uh, across the street over here, we're gonna turn the other way, but just to great, the north. Great sidewalk area there too. Yeah, I mean, the outdoor patio is all along here. And Julius Meinl has an outdoor patio. And you're right across from Wells Park. This is where Wells Park starts, uh, right at this intersection. Uh, so you can't really go wrong. You spend all day in the park, kids playing baseball, soccer, whatever. Uh, you have tennis courts, and then you're sitting at the cafes. I mean, it's, it's really idyllic. And then right uh, behind us there was uh, Schultzer Library as well. So you have uh, the neighborhood library. And now we're traveling uh, southeast. We're gonna go towards uh, another sort of restaurant district when we pass Irving Park Road. And it's gonna be closer to the uh, Brown Line. But you can see all the amenity here. There's more restaurants, bars, uh, and you'll see the jewel coming up on our right. And the bad apple. Yeah. And on two blocks up, we have the uh, Lincoln restaurant with uh, a great garish old uh, cartoonish drawing of Abe Lincoln on, on the outside of the sign, if it's still there. It is still there, and one of the features of the Lincoln restaurant is they have a stand-up uh, comedy night. I think they do an open mic night, but they also have sort of a Saturday Night Live, Second City type troupe uh, that, that'll play there as well. So if you're into local comedy or something, you know, want something to do that's inexpensive, that's kind of a fun thing. And you can get the same kind of uh, coffee shop cheeseburger that you can get in a thousand different places around Chicago. Right. I mean, it's a diner. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a true uh, old school diner. Fresh frozen french fries straight out of the bag. <laughs> Just uh, yeah. the good stuff. Now here we again, we have more retail, uh, a CVS, and if, if you have kids or don't have kids or whatever, uh, it's just awesome having CVS around your neighborhood. I know we're there every other day getting milk or other odds and ends, so uh, it's nice to have. And again, we're, we're on the busiest retail stretch of North Center, and North Center has a really active uh, chamber of commerce, and they do a lot of stuff for the community. They'll have a big Easter celebration, in the square over here where uh, you can come and do kids activities. They have an Easter Bunny and they do an egg walk, you know, uh, Easter egg hunt up and down Lincoln and all the businesses participate. It's it's really kind of a and there's Abe. huge thing now. There's yeah. Abe. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... it's one of the few old school uh, uh, landmarks in a sense over here because, you know, they, they've torn down all these old buildings or uh, refurbished them. Uh, and. That sign's going to be worth a fortune on eBay someday. <laughs> they can put it in a bid now, I guess. This neighborhood has I mean, transformed just uh, almost totally within the last eight or ten years. Yeah, and, and, and ten years is about it. Like 2000 is when they uh, built this uh, newer construction building to the left. I don't know if you catch any of it. And uh, You've got it now. Yeah, it's about a 40-something unit. Uh, modern building and they have retail on the bottom. The Starbucks has always been very popular. They did a nice step retail setback uh, on the right. triangle. Right. 
well designed. I mean, people like the building. It's it's actually been a very nice building for the owners. Elevator building, garage, all that sort of thing. But the point is, is it really modernized the corner. Once that thing was built, you then you saw these new restaurants coming up and down the street. Uh, we're crossing in uh, here, going southeast into another little area of North Center that's very popular. You have the Brownstone Tavern to our left. You have hardware stores and uh, community home supply. Everybody in the real estate industry should know about that place. I think everybody does. And uh, as we come up here, you have a few- a fixture there for 30, 40 years, I yeah, think. Yeah, and we just passed an area where there's some high-end restaurants, Sola. You have Martyrs, which has been here a long time. It's a music venue. And uh, Molly's Irish Bistro is right up here. That's some boutiques scattered in, and they're all one-of-a-kind kind of shops around here. Yep. Uh, in many ways, the, the retail and the restaurants here uh, rival Andersonville, but it doesn't get anywhere near the kind of press that Andersonville gets. Yeah, I think because uh, in North Center, it, it may be a little more spread out in a sense. Andersonville, it's very, very dense along the Clark Street strip. Uh, Lincoln kind of kind of sprawls a little more. and But North Center gets uh, a little more play on the schools, of course, and we talked about Coonley and Bell School, which is very popular. So that, that's sort of what you start with, but then people are, I think, surprised by the quality of restaurants you get on the kitchen. Well, 